Hey everyone, this is Minjong from minjongtay.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a great free plugin that you can use for your own blog um, to engage more readership and also uh, has the potential to make your post uh, go viral. And as you can see here, uh, I'm already in one of my blog posts. Uh, when I just uh, scroll down uh, to read this post, you can see that the sidebar here uh, will also appear continuously. Uh, it won't just uh, go up and down like this uh, normal widget sidebar. So this is the floating bar uh, by Tick Tick that I was talking about. Um, this Tick Tick bar uh, has the ability for you to customize uh, the social platform that you would like to show up here. So in this blog, I only choose a few of the social platforms that I use, like uh, Google+, Plus, Twitter, Facebook, Like, and StumbleUpon, plus the last one is Pinterest. And on top of that, uh, at the top here, or just uh, below this uh, uh, title here, you can see there are quite a few uh, of the uh, social buttons as well. So this is uh, definitely a great thing. Uh, to encourage reader to share your content uh, on this social platform. Uh, not only would it help to bring in a lot of direct traffic, but also to build you a lot of the social backlinks. So let's just uh, go to uh, the platform, uh, plug in Dig Dig Bar. So once you install Dig Dig Bar, you should be able to see this. Uh, there's a Dig Dig uh, button on the sidebar here. So just click on the tick tick bar and you will be able to customize uh, the tick tick bar to choose the, your preferred uh, social media platform so that they will show up there. So just a few tips uh, using this tick tick bar. As you can see, uh, there are a few uh, buttons on the side here. The global config, normal display, floating display. So generally, I will just play around with these uh, three uh, settings. Uh, inside the global config, uh, what I do is uh, to customize this uh, Twitter account. I just uh, put in the handler here. As you can see, Ming Zhong uh, has been uh, tapped in. So whenever people uh, click the Twitter button, and your handler uh, will automatically be included in. So and this is uh, added in as well the buffer configuration if you are using the, the buffer uh, type of the button and tweet mini as well so if you use a tweet mini um, button then you definitely want to include uh, your uh, tweet handler here uh, so this will help you uh, this will help the user to actually uh, tweet your comment while uh, still address or mention your name so that uh, you will get uh, notified in your Twitter account and you will be able a lot easier to interact with your uh, followers. So subsequently uh, for a normal display uh, that is for uh, this social button showed up uh, just below this title here if you don't want uh, the, the normal display, uh, this sort of button to show up, just uh, ignore this uh, normal button. So as you can see here, buttons are displayed in horizontal or vertical order. So that is uh, the one that I'm talking about, the horizontal button. And you will be able to select the buttons like Dick, uh, Google+, Plus, Buffer, LinkedIn, Reddit, uh, Twitter, Sir. Uh, web blend. So some of these uh, popular social buttons are already included here. And the other uh, thing that you can do is definitely the floating display, which is uh, the floating uh, dictic bar as you can see here. So if you want to display this uh, floating dictic bar, uh, you definitely click on this enable the floating display. Uh, check on this and whether the buttons are allowed to display in post or page. And the other thing is you can just uh, select uh, the button. So 
there are quite a few buttons uh, as shown uh, previously as well. Uh, usually, I would just uh, like to select a few uh, social platforms that I uh, engage uh, from time to time. So, this is a DIG, uh, Google Plus, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook Like, Stumble Upon. So, once you uh, select all this, you can just uh, click the Save Changes and you will be able to see the, the floating button as shown here. Um, you can also tweak uh, the position by adjusting this uh, 2.4, the display configuration setting. Choose how far from the left or of the content the deck is placed. So you can definitely play around with that. Uh, I just leave it as a default, I think. Uh, I never changed that. So this is how it will actually look like. Um, very handy tool and at one glance that you can see uh, whether your your post has been tweeted and has been shared or uh, how many likes you receive so this all helps to contribute uh, to make your post go viral because uh, when the people come to, come to check out your post uh, they will be able to see all this uh, social engagement as well and that actually encourage them to also share your content on their own account so hope you enjoyed this video and if you have not had the dig dig bar install just uh, go to uh, go to the plugins and new and search for the dig dig bar uh, or you can just uh, click the link below uh, the video because uh, i've also included a direct link to the uh, plugin page uh, in the wordpress so you can just uh, download and install it. Um, if you'd like to uh, get more useful and helpful videos like this, uh, just subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, for future notification. And also if you'd like to kickstart your online business, just uh, click the link below to download a free copy uh, of the BioQ100 Blueprint so that you can get started immediately. So for now, I will just uh, talk to you soon. Cheers.